My name's Adam Short and welcome to the UK Coastal Track. Well, it looks like a nice sunny day. Um, believe me, it's not. Big black clouds are coming in and I've just heard the mother of all thunderclaps. Uh, I've dived into this forest here which runs alongside the beach. Um, just taking cover underneath this tree and waiting in anticipation. Hopefully it's going to pass by. Um, but there is the very real uh, possibility that um, the heavens will open up. Now despite the uh, horrendous weather we had yesterday and last night and even this morning uh, the sun's come out now and it's turned into an absolutely beautiful day. Now today is the first time that I've actually been able to see the coastline I'll be walking along uh, in a few days time and uh, it looks pretty impressive. Mountains and cliffs and everything I expect Scotland to be. Now I've been asked three times today if I'm ex-military. I just want to put the record straight, I have no military experience whatsoever. I'm just an extraordinary individual. Now you've got to admit, the sunsets in Scotland are absolutely fantastic. I'm here at Finhorn and I'm just about to make a crossing in Hooley the pack raft. Bless her, she's doing well. Uh, we'll get over to the other bank and then we can carry on down to Nan. Now looking at the water, the tide is coming in and there's, uh, there's quite a current running through here. So I'll probably end up a little bit further down the river over there. Well that's the plan anyway. Well thankfully I was right. The uh, current did actually drag me down, uh, down the river a little bit to exactly where I wanted to be. It would appear that I've been joined by a handful of inquisitive seals. The UK coastal track is full of dangers and this is just one of them. I've managed to walk into the middle of a salt marsh and I am now surrounded by quicksand. Somehow I've got to get myself out of this situation and back to solid ground. While I'm stuck in the middle of a salt marsh trying to find my way out, I thought I'd introduce you to something called Samphire. Now Samphire is a wild edible plant. Uh, you simply just uh, pick the shoots and eat it. It's actually quite nice. I made it onto solid ground which uh, even to me is a bit of a relief. Now um, if you fancy yourself as an explorer or an adventurer or an adrenaline junkie then please 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 go and seek the right instruction and get the right equipment. Visit the website that's displayed at the bottom of the screen here so you dot me. It's got all the information you need and you don't even need to be a member. One of my followers recently asked me what salmon was. It was an ingredient that I used in one of my wild recipes um, for the flavoursome dish. Now, that is salmon. You'll find it growing on uh, a lot of sandy beaches, uh, big carpets of, of green. It's uh, an edible plant. All you do is you take the leaves off, simply munch on it. it tastes a bit like a, bit like a salad. Sound warm. If you like this video, then why not share it with your friends? 